Let's say you know how to ride a bike, right? Um, that's a bike. And uh, you love riding your bike, and you're actually pretty good at riding your bike, all right? And this is you. Or maybe it's me. I don't know. And then one day your buddy comes over and says, hey, can you teach me to ride a bike? This is you. And you're like, sweet, I love riding my bike. I would love to teach you to ride a bike. He's like, because I want to go out and I want to ride like, oh, I don't know, 50 kilometers. That's my goal for today. If you don't know kilometers, you should learn. All right. And uh, you're like, sweet, I can teach you to do that. All right. And he's like, all right, well, I only have 30 minutes to learn. Well, that's a near impossible task. You cannot teach someone to ride a bike in 30 minutes and have them go out and ride 50 kilometers. All right, well, that's what happens when I'm teaching Spanish sometimes. People will come to be super excited because they want to learn Spanish because they're going to Mexico or they're going to Argentina or they're going to Spain. And they're like, teach me everything so that I can go communicate because I want to talk with some people, right? Because that's why we're learning this language. And then they're like, all right, can we just do this, I don't know, like in 30 minutes and I'm, and I'm good to go? And the answer is no. No, you can't. And there are books that say you can, but I'm telling you, you can't because it is a slow process. You can't learn to ride a bike in 30 minutes and expect to go 50 kilometers. You can't learn Spanish in 30 minutes and expect to have super in-depth conversations. All right, so then why am I making this video? Well, I'm making this video because I want to show you a way to jumpstart your learning. The problem is we're going to have to make some sacrifices, all right? So instead of us focusing on all the people... I, you, he, she, it, we, they, etc. We're just going to work with I and you. Okay? That's all we get. And I'm going to limit your words to just six. But with these six words, you will have endless opportunities. Why? Because this is a structure that I call the infinitive structure. Okay, so what are we going to do? You're going to go into the, your dictionary, and you're going to work up a verb. Okay? And I'm going to remind you that our infinitives, the base form of the verbs, end in either AR, ER, or IR. So let's say you've looked up the verb comprar, to buy, or maybe you've looked up the verb, I don't know, comer, to eat, and now you've looked up ear, and let's say maybe you've looked up uh, dormir, to sleep. So what you have to do is memorize these right here. You have to. You just got to put in the time and memorize. And these mean the following. I want, I need, I prefer, I like, I would like, I plan. Quiero, necesito, prefiero, me gusta, me gustaría, pienso. Memorize, all right? Pause this. Memorize. Make some flashcards. I'm sorry. You've got to put in the time. You said you wanted 30 minutes. I'm giving you 30 minutes, okay? And then here, you're going to put in an infinitive, all right? So you could go to the dictionary and look up an infinitive. You could go get the book 501 Verbs, which has 501 infinitives. I'll put a link up here. If you say, I want to eat, you're just going to say, quiero comer. I need to eat. Necesito comer. I prefer to eat. Someone's asking you what you want to do. Because here's the thing. When you're first starting out in Spanish and you got to go slow, you're going to be able to express what you want, right? It's going to be harder to carry on a long conversation, but that's not our goal. Our goal when you're starting off is to give you some confidence to interact with some other people. Or, I like to eat. I like to eat. I would like to eat in one hour, and maybe pienso plus comer, I plan to eat. So there you go. You're going to go, and you're going to look for your infinitives that end in AR, ER, or IR, and you can put them in here. Now, life can get pretty boring if we're only talking about I, 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 I. So how do we say you? And yes, it's just the two and not the usted, but let's not get crazy today, all right? So let me write down the changes here. So now, you could say, quieres comer, you want to eat, you need to eat, you prefer to eat. So we have, 
quieres, necesitas, prefieres, te gusta, te gustaría, piensas. So again, with these six words, you're going to be able to get on that bike and start riding. And then as you practice, as you learn more, as you get more comfortable, we can add in the he, the she, the we, the y'all, the, the they, etc. But for now, let's just live in our happy little world here. Okay, one final thing. So a statement would be, quieres comer? You want to eat. But if you wanted to make it a question, you're going to say, quieres comer? And put that intonation up. Do you need to eat? Necesitas comer? Goes up. Prefieres comer? Do you prefer to eat? Now you've got questions. I know I told you the infinitive structure was nice. Put in 30 minutes with this. You'll be surprised what you can do. Suerte.